Hello everyone, I'm here to feature this stamp set on the horizon. Earlier in the month, I showed you some pretty cards that I made with this stamp set. Well, today I want to walk you through a really pretty card that uh, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to make it. Now we are in, the, we'll be in the second month of celebration in February. This month is January. We're right at the end of the month. This is called celebration for every qualifying order of $50 or if you just choose to spend a hundred there's several different items in here according to how much you spend for free things that you get to choose so let me turn the camera down and we'll get started this stamp set is found on 43 in your mini catalog this is our new mini catalog that started also in January. Now, if you want to get the stamp set and the die, you you say, excuse me, you save ten percent. So buying the bundle always works. And then, of course, I'm gonna also um, demonstrate to you the designer series paper that's called New Horizon. Okay, let me get started here. I've already started this card. There is three things I'm using in the dies. I'm using uh, this one here, which cut this out. And then also I'm using this die here, which cut this. And then, of course, I have been using the um, this die here, which cuts the fence. So let me go ahead and start showing you how to put this together. This stamp set and the dies are for scene building. If you like to build scenes, then you're gonna love this stamp set. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. This is the base card, eight and a half by 11, scored at five and a half. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. I, um, I used the New Horizon paper, of course. I cut this one to size to fit this um, layered piece here. And then what I wanted to show you what is so cool, what you can do with the dies. When you're cutting out, I use this piece here to cut the pond and the greenery here, the grass. So what I did is I used my scraps from the last card that I did, and I um, just used the scraps and cut each piece, as you can see. Okay, and there's the opposite side. It's two-sided paper, so it's just gorgeous on both sides. Okay, now what I've done, I started stamping. First, I stamped, let me show you here. Um, I stamped this right here, and then, of course, I cut this out with that, um, that paper here. No, it was this one here, sorry. Cut it out with this one, and then I just, uh, cut behind it first, then I glued it down, and I glued it off flat, then I stamped over it again. Now, that's the first step that I did. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, start my layering. And what I did here was, um, I didn't have that color ribbon, so I kind of cheated a little bit. I got some white ribbon out, <laughs> and I used um, my um, alcohol markers, and I dyed the ribbon to the color that matched the cardstock. So actually, this um, was the light, Night of Navy, I think is what I used, and it doesn't turn up quite as dark as the cardstock. So it worked out great. So what I did was I started taping down. I used my uh, scotch tape here to glue, or yeah, to hold, to adhere the ribbon the way I wanted it. So I've got one more here, and I didn't want to go over too much because your card has got to fit. I'm going to be layering this on this piece here. So when you're doing this, you probably want to lay it down. Make sure it doesn't go over too far. Of course, 
you want the you want to get the look that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this last piece of the ribbon down. And it does hang over just a little bit. This is kind of a take from the one that is in the catalog. So if you look at the catalog, you might see where I got some of my ideas that I cased it from. And then, of course, it's not exact because I switched it around a little bit. Okay, so that is the panel piece that's going to go on top of this card right here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. I've got my glue right here. Oops. This is a pretty quick card to make if you've got everything all set up like you want to do it and everything cut out first. It don't take long to make it. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to stand up here because I want to make sure that I get this just right. I sometimes <laughs> get things cross-eyed or cock-eyed and this turned out real good. I got it on straight, which is something for me. <laughs> so, okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to use dimensionals. First, I want to, actually I'm going to I'm not going to glue this on yet. I'm going to show you what I did so far. I took um, this stamp right here. Let me get this in the camera for you. And I stamped it. And then I cut this out with the, the die. And you can see that I went ahead and stamped on the pond first because I like the color the weeds or whatever you call it in the background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue just the bottom of this. I don't want to put the whole thing down because I like how if you don't glue the whole thing down it um, stands out just a little bit and if I can get some glue coming out of here Okay, so I'm just putting it on the bottom part, and there we go. So I'm going to place it so you can see the greenery behind that. So, now what I did was, let me get it just the way, okay, there it is, just the way I want it. Okay, and you can see how what I mean by not gluing the whole thing down because you can kind of lift it up a little bit and it gives it some of that uh, dimensional look. Okay, then I've got this right here. I have to figure out where I want to place that. It's always good to cut out all your components and then you know how you're going to place everything when you go to put it together. So let me put a little bit dabs of glue on the back of this, and I'm not going to glue the whole thing down, because I like that look when it kind of, okay, let me see here. I want that up like that. There we go. Perfect. Let me move that up just a little bit more. Whoops. <laughs> I like this uh, multi, or this liquid glue, because you can move things around. It's it's not, it doesn't adhere real quick right away. And if you get it um, off center a little bit, you've got, if you put enough glue on, you can slide it around to make it just like you want it. Okay, now I've got a little bit of glue there where I don't want it. So Stampin' Up used to have these glue erasers. And I still have mine. I don't know if they're going to carry them anymore or not. There. But it, it picks up the unwanted glue if it, if it smears or gets it somewhere you don't want it. And, of course, like I said, you can always put that um, baby powder on. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, let's see, yeah. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use dimensionals. I've already put them on the back of this. So let me take these off. This, 
like I said, is kind of a short video. You're going to want to watch my next video because I'm going to be showing you this really, really cute easel card. It's a fun full card. So let me get this up here right where I want it. Let's see. I think I want to move it over just a little bit. Okay. These dimensionals are kind of forgiving, forgiving if you don't press down too hard when you first put it on. That way you can look and see if it's the way you want it. Oh, it's turning out so pretty so far. Okay, now I think I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this also because you can see I stamped on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put some dimensionals on the back because I don't want to flatten my ribbon. So I think that's a good idea to pop it up a little bit. That way you're not flatting, your ribbon won't go flat. Okay, so let me just put a bunch on. Okay, now let's have fun getting all this off. <laughs> okay, I could use take your pick, but my nails do a pretty good job. I just have several to take off. If you just kind of poke it a little bit first with your nail, it kind of pops up a little for you. And then um, it's easier to take it off. But for those of you that don't have nails, use take your pick. Okay, I think, oh, here's one right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put this down and uh, see what I've got. I like the way the ribbon's looking. Let me fluff it up just a little bit more before I put this down pull that okay so let me see here get this organized so that it's right where I want it I think it is push it down and that is that with for the card now, what I want to do is stamp the inside, so I'm going to, um, let's see, what did I do with my stamp? Did I put it away? Nope, I guess I didn't. It's out here somewhere. Well, maybe I'll just put trees on there. So, let me get my... So for the inside, we'll put, oh, here it is. This is what I wanted to put on there. So let me go to my old olive color, ink it up, press down, and that's the look I want. So, and of course, you're going to want your envelope to match. So. Go ahead and um, stamp your envelope while you're at it. And then, um, this is a different envelope, but you can get the color to match to coordinate with your card. So, I'm hoping that you guys are going to love this video. It's a fun video, and um, I really enjoy making these for you. If you enjoy watching them... I sure would appreciate it if you would um, go into my YouTube and uh, look at the video, subscri subscribe, and um, hit the bell, and then you will get all the notifications of when I make another video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.